Maryland primary already next week. Hard to believe candidates are still scrambling to win your vote. WJZ part of a debate tonight for 10 people running for the governor's seat, explaining how they would tackle Maryland's education issues. It's a big one. WJZ live at 11 o'clock and Christina Mendez in front of Baltimore City Community College with much more on tonight. Christina. Hey, Rick, people from all over came here to campus to hear each candidate's plan and stance on education and how exactly they would execute it. Education is a key concern for many voters this election cycle. Top of mind, the COVID-19 pandemic rebound, which magnified existing problems in public school systems, including staffing shortages from educators to bus drivers. Daniel Byerson sat in as some gubernatorial candidates squared off in a debate at Baltimore City Community College. And I want to know how they're going to support educators and those who work in education because people are often leaving not because they, you know, don't love the work, but because they simply are burning out. A parent of a school-aged child, Byerson also wants to see security as a top priority. Maryland's Safe to Learn Act of 2018 requires all public schools to have an assigned student resource officer or, quote, adequate coverage by local law enforcement. I'm looking for feedback and insight on their plan to execute equity in schools beyond school choice and more SROs in the school buildings. School funding is another big ticket item. Legislation passed in 2021 called Blueprint for Maryland's Future aims at increasing education funding by $3.8 billion each year over the next decade. But whether candidates support or attempt to slow this plan is something voters are considering. We, we got to do better by the young people because they the future. The Baltimore Teacher Network is paying close attention to the how-to and hopes this platform is used to inform before people cast their ballot. Oftentimes, you know, we hear different politicians come out and they offer these lofty ideas and promises, you know, a chicken in every pot. <laughs> But we, we, we really want the candidates to kind of focus on exactly how they're going to get some of the lofty ideas done. Early voting is already underway. Many of you have already cast your ballot. Today alone, 21,000 people voted. I'm reporting live from Baltimore tonight. I'm Christina Mendez for WJC.